Hi guys, I'm guessing this is going to be a new vlog, but it is the end of our student week. It's the 16th, Saturday, 16th of June. I've partied three days in a row because it's uh, it was graduation week. Um, and now I finally graduated and I vlogged it all. I'm feeling like a change in my hair colour. And now when it's so light, I feel like it will pip pick up colour a lot easier so I'm gonna dye it with these bleach London colours that I've had for a while so we've got awkward peach and I'm gonna mix it with my pink one and I used these quite a while ago and I left it on for 15 minutes and it hardly show up, showed up so I'm gonna and I also had it in towel dried hair but now I'm just gonna add it in my dry hair just because I feel like that will um, make it stay longer. And I'm probably going to leave it on for like half an hour. Double the time. Because you're supposed to leave it on for 15 minutes. But it hardly made any difference. So let's head to the bathroom. And I'm going to put this on. I'm just going to change into a messy top. I need to mix this in a bowl. Because now I've got the pink here. I'm just going to mix the pink and the peach together. It looks like this now. I'm going to have a go. I mixed them. I'm going to put it in my hair. Now the time is 15.28 and I'm just going to leave it in for as long as I feel like, yeah. It's gone half an hour, I'm going to rinse out now. Look oh, at I these wild pigs. pigs. Wow. Over near that store. Oh Is God. it? Don't run over it. Hi everyone, so I'm going to the gym in like 15 minutes. I'm gonna hop on the bus, but I just made myself a nice coffee. Probably a bit late. I need to go soon. I need to get changed into gym clothes and I thought I'd bring you along to the gym because yesterday everyone was partying because it was midsummer, which is a thing we celebrate in Sweden. So I don't think there will be many people at the gym and if there isn't, then I can film some. But if there is, then I won't film. <laughs> so we'll just have to see. I put whipped cream at the top. <laughs> I've been to the gym, uh, there were people there so I didn't really film anything. I'm so sorry about my messy background and my hair but let's just, uh, let's just pretend it's normal. <laughs> I'm gonna do something I wanted to do since this song came out. So, since I loved Ariana Grande's last song, um, No Tears Left To Cry, is it called that? <laughs> oh my god, it would be so embarrassing if it wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, it's called No Tears of Crown. I'm going, I'm going way good. I'm going to react to The Light Is Coming, Ariana Grande featuring, featuring Nicki Minaj. Like, I'm, I'm here for this. And there's a video out now, so you know how long I've um, restrained myself from listening to this song and watching this video. Okay. Like, I'm not a super hardcore fan, but I think I'm starting to... Like, dive down into that, uh, those deep waters. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna watch it now. I think this is the right version. It's the music video as well. Okay. I think this is gonna be good. Hey, yo, trophy wife, out you won me. Trophy wife. Ooh, the smoke. She looks so good. I love her hair. But her glasses are questionable. I'm questionable. Yeah, you're a high five. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I the light is coming. Okay, and it's filmed in the dark, and she's 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 got a light, and it's just mm, I like it so. Far. Ah, she looks so good. How can someone look that good? Like, bless me, Ariana. She's already blessed me. 
a little run. <laughs> this video is like one shot, I feel like. It's supposed to feel like it's uncut, kind of, which is kind of... Oh, that's cool. I was just about to say it's a bit too dark and now the red has came. I like that. Oh yeah, she's got her old hair back. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay, this is trippy. There's so many of her. Her makeup. Oh, the lip bite. <laughs> oh my god. I feel blessed. Um, Nikki and Ari are an iconic duo. I like this video. I would have liked it to be more light. Like, I know there was really cute fairy lights, but... <laughs> I mean, it would have been cool if I could see their beauty more. Um, other than that, I love the video. It was a trip. It was a ride. It was a... Mm, I like it. And I like the song. I think it's one of those songs that once you listen to it at first, you're like, okay. And then once you listen to it a couple times, you're like, mm, this is my song, you know? I kind of don't like the background voice either. Like the man in the background? I think it's a man. Me and my friends are... Oh, why do I do that? <laughs> Me and my friends are at Ikea now. Doing some shopping. And I thought I'd vlog a little bit. So, here goes. Cleaning. Can't be a lifeboat. Oh, my hair's going to be How will I pack them? Men, oh, do you have a good question. These are so nice. Today, me and my friends went to Ikea, as you saw. Um, I didn't get that many things, but I still got a little bit, and I want to show you what I got, so. And I saw the thing we can make you mad. That's why I said. Okay, here, let's go. Here's a little overview. I didn't get very many things, but I just wanted to show you. I got it in a huge bag, though, that I can hardly hold up. Well, so I've got a coffee stain on my top. I don't think you can see it. Hopefully you can't. I just look like shit as per usual. But I went to the gym today with Amy at 10 a.m. And I'm proud of myself to say the least. Okay, so let's start with this thing that's sticking out. Which you can already see. It's revealed itself. It's just a fake, a fake leaf on a branch. So it's just like a green plant and it's fake so I don't have to take care of it. Because we all know I can't. I can't. It's very cute, very pretty. I can cut it off to make it shorter if I want to. I thought maybe it would be nice with some greenery in the backgrounds of my videos here at Dad's because I don't have much greenery at my Dad's. Okay, that's that. Next thing I got was this. Um, I thought it would be nice for a decor piece now. When I'm living at home still, like, I can put some, like, plants in it. But when I move away, I can have it as a water jug. So, it's multi-purpose, which I love. And it's just one of those that you open like that. And I think it looks cute. Or this one is called... Girl, I don't know what this one's called. But that's what it says on the label. Oh, my God, look. You can see me through it. That looks so funny. Uh, hello? This one's called Smicka. So yeah, I was thinking I could put that in there maybe. We'll see if it will even look good. Probably not. I'll need to cut it off regardless. Oh, maybe I won't. I don't know what I think of that. We'll probably have to add something else to, to that um, concussion. 
that's not the word. I don't know what the word is though, okay. Like I went to Ikea with my friends because I'm the only one out of my friends who has a car. So we went to Ikea in my car and I didn't really know what I was going to buy because I was like, I don't really need anything, don't really want anything. But I ended up getting six glasses. I don't even know when I'm going to move away from home. Like it could be years, like as in years, I mean like two years, not like six years. Um, Yeah, so I... I haven't really ever seen glasses that I fell in love with and I'm like, wow, I really like those. I want those in my future home. But uh, my friend Emilia, she had seen these glasses and she was getting them and like they're from Ikea. So obviously they weren't expensive and I thought they were really nice as well. So I got myself six. Um, I really like these. Don't know what these are called. They said it on the shelf it said what they were called i took a picture so i can like put it on the screen what they're called but i really like these this is the size i just thought they'd be really really lovely to have like orange juice in just like normal drinking glasses so yeah i got six of those not at all expensive it was probably like all together all of those six glasses probably cost me like 14 pounds not a lot i got this for my boyfriend because I've got this um, bed cover at my mum's and it is heavenly. It's the most comfy bed cover I've ever had. Um, it's the material it's made of. I don't really know what material it is. Oh, it says it's just polyester, 100%. I don't think that's very good, but it's really comfy anyway. And this one is called Quarpil. So I just got, got that for John because he thought it was comfy. Uh, next thing I got from Ikea was just this because I have a slight, like, I wouldn't say obsession because I definitely don't have an obsession with boxes, but I always find myself wishing that I had a box and I got one, but I didn't, I don't know what to put in it and I still don't know what to put in it, but I know that it will find its purpose. Can't talk. I know that it will find its purpose. So this one's called Kugis. I just thought it looks clean, simple, quite good size. Oh, and then we went to H&M home. We literally rushed there 30 minutes before it was going to close. And I just got these bowls. Like I didn't need them, but in my future home, I think I'd like to have a lot of wooden things because I just think it looks nice and earthy kind of. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So I got these like they weren't the most inexpensive bowls like I could have got some cheaper ones at Ikea But I just like the look of these they were like 14 pounds for these free bowls I love H&M home. They got really cute stuff. So it's a set of free bowls So we've got this little baby one. I thought this one was so cute But you have to hand wash these which is a little bit annoying Then we've got this middle one and it smells like wood and then we've got this medium sized one you can just put like vegetables in it or sweet. You can put whatever you want in there. I'm very pleased with my purchase. And that was everything. It was probably like the smallest Ikea haul you've ever seen. So I can probably fit in this bag. Oh wow. It's cozy in here guys. I bet you're jealous. I bet you all wish you were me. That was it for this little montage. I will see you when I see you. Bye. Hi guys, I just finished work at two and now I'm gonna head to town to see Martha. Um, we're just gonna stay outside in the sun, chill, cause it's Friday today. Don't have any plans, but first, before I take the bus, cause I'm gonna take the bus, I'm gonna pick out a package. So I'm gonna go do that and it's from Lush. So you can expect a Lush unboxing when I get back. I need to rush, bye. Hi everyone, it's eight o'clock and I'm finally back home with my doggies. I was with Martha, but I didn't really film anything. We just basically, I went into town to meet her. We snacked on some watermelon. I bought a chocolate bar. We just sat outside and chatted for a bit. Then we went home to hers and we had some hot dogs and iced coffee. Well, she had wine and I had iced coffee because I was driving. <coughs> Excuse. And then now I just got home to the doggies because I'm looking after the dogs for mum again. And it's just a Friday chill evening. 
the weather's really nice i just went outside to pick some of the cherries we've got like two cherry trees cherry trees cherry trees in our garden but these are quite small compared to the ones we normally buy and they're a bit more sour but they're still really good i'm balancing you on my lush package right now uh so i'm gonna open that for you and then i'm just gonna watch some uh, swedish like tv show i was listening to a podcast where someone was talking about this one called sophie's angels which is basically when someone goes in and helps like a family in need and it's just really emotional and really sad and i just feel like watching that right now and then if i'm not feeling that i'll probably watch um a crime series like a true crime series on netflix that i just started watching and it's about a real case i believe and it's called like the staircase something me and Mar Martha started watching it and it was really good. My dog, will you shut up? Literally just fed her and let her out. Sesan! Jesus! Okay, time to unbox. So here it is. Really small, really cute. I actually need more Lush skincare because man's all, almost all out. So as per usual, we have the big stuff in it. Got a little note. Wow, it's a long note. Okay, so I got this turtle jelly bomb. Mmm, it smells good. Oh, it's about how uh, sea turtles eat so much like plastic bags each year thinking it's like jelly, what's it called? Jellyfish kind of? Thing. That's so sad. Thank you so much, Elena. This was so nice. Guys, Lush is out here trying to help the environment. You should support that. I definitely support that. And we've got this really lovely jelly sea turtle bath bomb. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Isn't that so sweet? And it's perfect. I just dropped all of these across the floor. Shut up. Oh my God. It smells so good. <laughs> oh, I got it up my nose. Mm, it's so like citrusy, fresh. Oh, I need to pick all of this shit up. Oh, my dog will eat it because it smells so good. <laughs> It's so sad, I'm still watching the program about, like, they're a building company, it's like, make your home, but it's, it's for people who have it, like, hard. By the way, I'm popping popcorn in the background, and now I'm watching another one about a woman who got ALS when she was 27. She's so young, and she's got a child, and it's just so sad, and it just makes me realise how lucky and privileged I am, and I don't know, it's just so easy to take your family for granted, and I don't know. It just makes me want to hang out with my family a lot more than I do now. Yeah, deep thoughts. The best thing ever. Uh, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of popcorn, but I mean, I eat it when it's the only snackatizer we have in the house. Mm -mm. I have all of this to myself. The only right way to eat popcorn. Hola senoritas and males. I don't know how to say that. So hi, it, hi, hi, hi. So today it is Saturday, the 30th of June, like time flies. Literally say that in the end of every month, but <laughs> this month has just been quick, but also very long. Okay, whatever, I'm just rambling. Today is the last day I'm going to be vlogging for this vlog because it's already kind of long and I want to keep my vlogs to like 20 minutes-ish because on my last vlog that was 20 minutes you said that you liked the length of that one so I thought let's keep it to that but I haven't done like a Lash Slick review that yet and I really want to like talk about it because I love it so much and am I even a YouTuber if I don't? So let's do it! So as you all know, I love Glossy and they recently started shipping to Sweden. So if you're in Sweden, then you can get this as well. One of my best friend's sister lives in Brighton. I can put her Instagram name on her. And um, she helped me get this, this bad boy to Sweden. So thank you so much. I'm going to try it out now. I've obviously already used it because I've had it for a few weeks. But this is best mascara I've ever tried. And I've had like... So many drugstore mascaras and I've had the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and honestly that mascara wasn't very impressive but this one is. I think it's got like microfibers in it so you can tell a difference with this that your eyelashes are so much longer. I just love it so I love Glossier. They're probably like my favourite brand. They're cruelty free and they're really like simple and minimalistic. 
So first of all, I curl my lashes because it makes the world of a difference. Some more Glossier products here that I'm gonna use in a hot minute. Okay, no, in like a second, because I'm, I'm in a hurry. It's got a lovely like pink color. This is the brush. It's got a really good brush. It's like, mm, I love these kind of brushes. And it doesn't pick up too much like product. So you don't need to like scrape off too much. I just like scrape off the end normally. Okay, so here goes. Look at that, that was in one go. It honestly looks like I'm wearing falsies when I wear this. Or maybe it doesn't, but it feels like just as good. But better, because it obviously feels like you're not wearing anything. So far they've only got it in black, I think. I would have liked to have one in brown as well, because I love brown mascara, but... Honestly, this is so good. And I've only dipped my brush once, and that's what came. that's what's came out of it. I like doing my bottom lashes too. Look at the difference. Guys, I'm never going back to another mascara in my life. Oh, I haven't told you what I'm doing today. So today, me and dad are gonna meet up for like lunch, but it's gonna be brunch for me because I haven't had breakfast yet. We're meeting at one o'clock. It's almost 12 and I need to go at 12, like half past 11. So I'm just getting ready for a bite. Um, because I'm free this weekend, I've been working all of this week, so I haven't really been vlogging much, because, I mean, on my work days, I just come home and, like, chill. But when, whenever I do do something, I try to film. I was thinking of maybe, like, after me and Dad have met in town, I might come home with him and edit this video and upload it, so I don't have to, like, stress about that next week. Because internet at mum is so slow that I can't really upload videos longer than 10 minutes at mum's. Or it would take like a week. We're gonna get faster internet soon. My mum just has to like actually go on a website and like order it or something. I think we have to wait like one month before the internet that we've got now like runs out kind of. Okay, I've got an eyelash that's like falling off. Can you see that? There we go. I'm taking the bus and you might be like, Becca, why are you taking the bus? You've got a car. Um, well... I don't, I, I don't know. I pay my petrol myself, so it's like kind of expensive to drive everywhere. So I try and drive as little as possible because obviously I need to save my money if I want to go on like travels next year. And I have a, have a lot I want to do really. So I'm trying to be as economic as possible. I just used the Birthday Balm from Glossier. Honestly, Glossier is my favorite brand ever thank you glossier for not sponsoring me if you want to sponsor me i'd be so down for that so yes sir which earrings should i wear either i'm wearing these simple ones or these ones that are like a little bit a little bit hangy i think i want to wear the simple ones and then my simple necklace that i got guys do you want me to do like a um because for graduation in sweden you like have a big party with your family and friends and you normally get like loads of gifts. Uh, obviously everyone can't get loads of nice gifts, but, but I'm so lucky and privileged that I did get a few really lovely gifts and they're all to do with like home decor and everything to do with like moving out. And I feel like a lot of you guys have grown up with me. So you're also at that stage in your life where you're, you're leaving school soon and you're gonna like move out eventually. So I feel like I'd like to do a what I got for my graduation, like home decor haul. If you want me to do that, please comment that down below because I feel like that would be such a fun video, but I also don't want to come off as bragging, you know? But then again, people do birthday hauls and I feel like that's like the same thing, but, but because it's a known thing on YouTube, then it's just not as strange, you know? Whereas graduation hauls aren't very common or i haven't seen one yet yeah okay i'm gonna use this dewy setting spray from nyx one two three oh i always i always forget to do this before my mascara like i don't want my mascara to go all funky this is one of the things i got for my graduation on my graduation day so i've always wanted like a little dainty necklace it's just got the like the female symbol there girl power i'm gonna get dressed now and it's like really sunny and warm outside it's like 20 degrees but it's really windy so i'm probably gonna wear my h&m trousers these ones see i'm just gonna wear this darling t-shirt and this is the uh, duvet that i got for john from ikea it's so comfortable it's, it's like smooth and oh it's just 
heavenly. So I'm in town now. Um, I'm trying clothes on before I'm meeting dad because I think he's going to be late. Um, I haven't been clothes shopping for ages and I don't own a skirt like this, but I think they're kind of nice. And they're on sale, so I'm just trying some long skirts on. And that polo was like three pounds. I can't decide if I think this is ugly or really cute. I don't know. I think it's nice, but I really don't know what I'd pair it with. Sophie got a iced tea. And <laughs> here with dad as well. I'm getting an iced coffee. This is literally exactly my um, my jugs that we've got at home. Okay. First impression. Good, but it's quite strong. It looks like it has ice cream. Do you want to try it? You probably won't like it because it's really strong. Mm -hmm. Was it too strong? Sophie's looks so good. And I got a. Ah, looks good. Brochette or brochette with halloumi on. That looks good as well. It's that strong. So I'm back home at dad's now. I'm going to finish editing this vlog and upload it. So I've got it ready for next week. I'm just going to show you what I bought because there were sales everywhere. I think they're trying to like sell out all of some things. So, mm, fresh. I got two things and uh, really, really cheap. So first of all, I got the black polo top because when autumn comes around, I know I'll be using this religiously. I have one other black polo top but it's like rim ribbed and uh, i just love black polos and it's a long sleeved and this was only 45 krona which is like four pounds so that is so cheap next thing i got was a bit of like a out of my comfort zone i've never really liked long skirt until now recently i think they're quite like trendy yeah just i've been seeing them a lot and i actually really like the look of them so i got this one it's quite long, but it's not too long for me because I am so short. And this was only like a hundred krona, which is like ten pounds, um, because it was on sale. So it's got ruffles, and then it's red, and it's got blue like flowers on. Just don't know how to style it quite, but I think it will be really nice, especially for like a holiday or something like that. So that's what I got. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know to keep doing vlogs, and comment what your favourite part in this vlog was. So I know what you kind of want more of. Um, maybe comment a question that I can answer in my next vlog. That would be cool to have like a question of the day. Question of the vlog kind of thing in the at the end of each vlog. So yeah, here are the shout outs for today's video. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow all my socials um, to keep updated with my life whenever I don't post on YouTube. I'll have my p socials on the screen next to me right now and they're always in the description box so i love you all so so much bye my mascara looks like this now plenty of hours later right now it's half past three and i put this on at like 11. sister snapped too faced is quaking My daddy becomes so